gave all the victims their slash to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a unique horror based point and click game that was released around 1997 on the PlayStation. Called Clock Tower. Originally this series actually it originated actually on the Super Nintendo a few years previous to that, but then it was later brought over onto the PlayStation platform. So this is more of a continuation on in the series. Now I remember back in the days when actually when I was big into playing the PlayStation and playing different types of games. I do remember actually seeing this being advertised in magazines and so forth, and I was interested in playing it. But at the same at the same time, I wasn't the biggest fan of playing the likes of point and click games at that time, as I was more into like fast paced games. But again, I was really into horror games and anything with a good plotline and a good story, so I was intrigued to try and have a go of it. Now, I never got the chance to really play it back in the early days when I was literally playing the PlayStation all the time. It wasn't until a good few years later that I managed to pick it up. I actually got it on eBay, and I got it for a decent enough price. But back then, even when I was looking for it, the game was quite rare to find, so it was kind of I was kind of lucky when I actually did manage to get a copy of it. But nowadays when you go looking for it, it is actually quite a rare game and you will actually pay decent money for a good quality physical copy of it if you can happen to get your hands on one. So essentially the premise of the story is based around this immortal kind of being called the Scissor Man and he goes on like a murderous rampage literally just picking victims at will and literally just murdering them, pretty much slicing and dicing them. So really the idea of the story is to try and investigate the, what's the cause of the murder while also trying to avoid the scissor man as well as the game goes on because he'll appear at different points throughout the game especially later into the game and I do remember actually getting to a couple of different endings of this game I do remember I got one or two endings but I wasn't able to get them all because again a lot of it has to do with different choices and so forth in the game that you make at different points in the game and it does reflect on how the game will end for you and even though it's a point and click game it is actually a good game but you do have to be very quick at reacting to things because the scissor man will literally appear at random when you're going in and out through different rooms especially if you're trying to escape it has kind of like the same kind of concept of other type of point and click games or even like pre-rendered background games like of Resident Evil and so forth where you have to engage with different elements like locked doors, finding keys to unlock a certain area and you need to find out ways of escape in certain points to stop the scissor man from actually coming at you while also being able to utilize the environment to either hide from him or to say engage with him to a point that you can actually stun him for a little while so that you can actually make your escape but he'll appear at random so you could go into a room at any point in time and there's a chance that he'll always be there so that always adds to the fear element of the game 
you never know exactly where he's going to be at any point in time. He can just literally appear pretty much anywhere he wants to appear at any point. So that added a pretty unique kind of concept to the game. And again, because I wasn't really used to playing the likes of point and click games as much on the likes of consoles. So it did take a bit of a while to get used to the controls. The only, the only other games I do remember vaguely playing on PlayStation with point and click were the Broken Sword games and maybe one or two others. The likes of The Last Report and maybe one or two other games from what I remember. So I, I didn't play them that often. But it was interesting to actually play through this. It is a very different style of game, and I will admit. And it's not as free flowing, like say, in terms of controls. Again, because you have to rely on the arrow and point in a direction for the character to actually go into to be able to get them to move. And you have to in interact with different elements within your environment using the cursor. So it does take a bit, if you're not used to these type of games, it'll take a bit to kind of understand. But when you get into it, there is actually a good game here. A good story, good plot line. It is actually a scary game. It definitely leaves you on the edge of your seat a lot of the times wondering when the scissor man is going to appear at any point so it, it definitely keeps you on your toes for sure so if you managed if you have managed to play this or if you haven't or if you have managed to play this like I'm sure you understand what it's about but if you haven't it would be a good opportunity now to actually play it and see what you think of it for yourself as it is getting rarer to find these days so if you do manage to get a copy of it or even if you do get the chance to play it I, I highly recommend that you at least give it a go and see what you think yourself especially if you're into these type of games and even just horror games in general especially on the PlayStation console itself because it did actually have a lot of unique and quirky type of games on the system that really stood out and they really do leave a lasting impression on you when you after you've played them. That's the, that's the one thing I really enjoyed about it. So I definitely recommend that you try it out if you can.
So what are your thoughts on Clock Tower? Did you manage to play it back in the day? And if so, what is your experience on it? Did you enjoy it? Did you find it scary? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated whenever I release another video. As I will be re-exploring classic games like this and even getting to explore other games that I never got to play back in the day on the PlayStation and sharing my thoughts and memories with all of you. So, until next time, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them, and make sure to keep those gaming memories alive.